that were at funding, and in fact, we were there at the very beginning. Our union worked for decades to entice the federal government to fund arts and culture, and the president for our union at the time was in the room when President Lyndon Johnson signed the NEA into law. The majority of our members work in nonprofit theaters here in New York City and all across the country. As a matter of fact, I started my career as a performer and then moved into arts management at a not-for-profit organization in St. Paul, Minnesota. I made a career in arts management and now in union leadership. Um, and in my job at, in, in St. Paul, Minnesota, that organization was dependent on NEA seed money to help them enter the other fundraising world, right? And that, and they were an employer. I had a job. I had a middle class job in the arts. Because of that job, I paid federal and state taxes. I was able to raise my children and send them to college. I was able to do that while working for an arts organization, again, supported by that money from the National Endowments for the, for the Arts. Our members work in arts organizations here in New York City and all over the country. And, oh, by the way, those organizations also help provide the artistic and cultural fiber of their communities. New York City is a great example of that and also a great example of what an economic driver the arts can provide to a community. Eliminating the National Endowments for the Arts will hurt all of us. The NEA supports art in cities and towns all across the country, in more than 16,000 communities and in every congressional district in the country. And did you know that the very first arts grant was awarded by the NEA in 1965 to the New York City Ballet Company? The arts are not a frill or a luxury. They are part of who we are and what connects us as a nation. So, Donald Trump wrote the art of the deal. Funding the NEA, the National Endowment for the Humanities, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting is a good deal for our economy. The president says he wants to create jobs. He can start right now by protecting our nation's investment in middle class jobs in the arts, jobs in every state of the union. And remember, the NEA is an investment that supports jobs that cannot be outsourced and can be not cannot be outshored, offshore. Yeah.